Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL source control video. In this video, we'll show you how to work using the dedicated development model, including conflict resolution. The dedicated model means that the entire team is using the same source control repository, but each developer is working on their own local copy of a database hosted on a separate instance of SQL Server. This allows each developer to work independently and to test any changes in a local sandbox before committing to the repository. For instance, John can make changes on his local copy of a database as much as he wants, since it does not affect other developers until changes are committed to the repository. To demonstrate this, we'll simulate a multi-user environment by working from two separate machines connecting on local SQL Server instances, working on the local copy of a database, and pushing changes to the same remote repository. In this example, this is the first machine we'll use to link to a database and initially push all objects to the remote repository. When working in the dedicated model, it is necessary to select the dedicated model option in the first step of the wizard. I'll specify source control credentials for the local user. In this case, it is Apex SQL Dev and click the Finish button. Once a database is linked, let's push all objects to the repository. Since all objects are already checked by default, I'll provide a commit message and click the Apply button. This will initially upload all objects to the specified repository, and I'll get the message that the local database and the repository are synced. This is a separate machine with a local instance of SQL Server and a local copy of the same database linked on the first machine. I'll repeat the linking process, making sure that Dedicated Model is selected. In the System Login step, I'll provide source control credentials for another user. In this case, Apex SQL Test, and point to the same repository as I did on the first machine. When the linking is done, the Action Center tab shows that there are no changes to push. Since databases are identical, and I have already pushed everything from the first machine, I'll make a single change on the second machine and compile it. Since this is a separate machine, I could alter any object and test the impact of that change on this local sandbox without affecting the rest of the team. Even if I push the change to the remote repository, it will not affect the rest of the team until it is applied against other local copies of a database. Let's push this change. If I go back to the previous machine and refresh the Action Center tab, I'll see the change that is being pushed by another developer. At this point, I can decide to apply this change or not. This way, a team can work independently using the dedicated development model and push changes to a remote repository, as well as decide which changes by other developers will be applied against a local copy of a database. The problem when working in a dedicated model is that all users need to work with the latest version of the database objects. To make sure that I'm working with the latest version of objects that are on the remote repository, I'll just refresh the Action Center tab, which will compare the local copy of the database and the repository. If there are no changes, I can start working on any object. However, developers cannot check this all the time. And sometimes, even if the version of an object is the most recent one, another developer can push a new version of the same object to the repository. This will cause a conflict to appear. Let's simulate this and check how to resolve. I'll execute the following script from one machine and push that change to the remote repository. I'll switch to another machine and change the same object without checking if someone else has already changed it. Once I'm done with making changes, I'll initiate the Action Center tab in order to push the change to the remote repository. However, I'll get the information that the conflict occurred. At this point, I have to resolve the conflict first. Apex SQL Source Control offers three options to resolve conflict. The first one, Keep Local, means that the changes from the current machine will override changes already pushed to a repository. Take the repository will apply changes from the repository against a local copy of a database, overriding local changes. Besides this, changes can be merged line by line using the built-in merging tool. I can choose one line that represents changes made on a local machine and another line that represents changes already pushed to a repository. In this case, I'll choose to keep local changes and confirm that. Once I merge all changes, clicking the Confirm button allows me to finish the operation. After the confirmation, I'll provide Commit Message and click the Apply button. 
by checking the remote repository, I can make sure that the test column that was added is properly pushed to the repository. This way, any conflict can be resolved and proper changes pushed to the repository. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.